Hi, today I'll introduce you the best service in the category, the best website builders. I went through more than 20 website builders and found the best one that was perfect for me, for myself. I make over $27,000 a month with this platform and I've been using it for over five years. In this short video, I'll reveal to you seven very useful secrets that not many people know about, but which make it really the best in the category, the best website builders. Let's not waste any time and get started. Hello, today in our review, I will tell you about one of the best website builders. First time on our review? Subscribe and you can learn a lot about constructors and other sections. Also comment on our videos, it helps and inspires us. Yola offers a really easy way to create a website. This relatively inexpensive builder gives you access to one of the most advanced online stores you'll come across. Yola immediately makes a good impression. Yola entered the market in 2007 and it's great that it has managed to maintain a very easy-to-use modern interface that allows anyone to create a website without any coding knowledge. Yola entices you to create your website with their website builder by offering a free website building version. This is a pretty impressive marketing approach. It's great for testing Yola's capabilities. One of the positives is that the developers behind this builder have created the perfect e-commerce platform based on the Acquit card that allows you to trade in both electronic and physical goods. The choice of templates is small on the free plan, but you can switch from one template to another at any time without losing content or editing results. There are more templates on paid plans, but some of them look a little outdated. Many of Yola's features may really appeal to you, such as its attractive price and simple drag-and-drop interface. If you want to create a really simple website, Yola may well be a great website builder for your beginnings. All sorts of customization features plus advanced HTML, CSS editing capabilities. Switchable templates Yola has some decent templates. Upgrading to a paid plan opens up more options in choosing templates. The cool thing is, if halfway through the editing process you decide that you don't like your original template, you can simply switch to another and your changes will still remain intact. Customizable Newbies will find Yola's customization options fairly straightforward. Elements such as text, colors, font, background and banner can be customized. For advanced users, there is a CSS HTML editor with which it will be possible to change the code inside the template to change specific elements. Compared to other well-known builders, the customization options that Yola offers are not bad. Variety of categories Yola is not designed for building business websites. Only a few categories of templates are presented here, such as art, photography, fashion, food and restaurant, construction and real estate, and many more. Upgrade your business and start working with the tools you need. E-commerce Through integration with Equid Store widgets, Yola offers a pretty nifty e-commerce solution. There are many benefits you can enjoy with your online store, including selling physical and digital products, accepting multiple payment methods, and even integrating with UPS and FedEx for shipping. Hello, today I will tell you about Squarespace. Squarespace has been one of my favorites for a while and making this review has done nothing to change that. It's not the cheapest option out there, but if you're trying to build a site and even make some money off it, then I'd say go for Squarespace. Squarespace is a powerful and versatile system and definitely worth your attention. Squarespace recently released Squarespace 7 with a complete redesign. One of the main disadvantages of Squarespace 6 was that the content and style editors were separated. Everything worked well, but separate style and content settings could be confusing. Squarespace 7 fixed this by creating a single interface. Due to the fact that the interface is unified, you do not lose the sense of space. The side always has a sidebar that falls out and disappears if necessary. When switching from page to page, there is always a preview of the site. All in all, Squarespace 7 looks more holistic than Squarespace 6. 
Site Editor. Each square space site is divided into several areas, footer, basement, header, body, etc. Each area contains blocks, paragraph, pictures, gallery forms, etc. When testing site designers, the first thing you need to pay attention to is the forms of the designer. Why? Because the first thing designers want to cheat on is their forms, but not Squarespace. The content block forms are awesome. It allows you to connect your form to MailChimp, set a post from the HTML, and there are various form fields in the blog. The content block gallery is also great. You can create any type of photo gallery. Want a slideshow? No problem. Want a table of thumbnails that grow when clicked? No problem. There are also specific settings on the side. Want to set a certain size of thumbnails? Not a problem. Want to crop your image? Not a problem. Want to set a focal point? Not a problem. With Squarespace, this is very easy. Another block of content that deserves special attention is the menu block. It contains a variety of styles to create a menu of restaurants. You can do it yourself. The site editor is quite simple, especially considering how many settings you can apply with it. It takes a lot of patience to create and modify a system like this. And yet, there were several imperfect elements in this editor. For example, it's difficult to find a mobile preview on the site editor. It turned out that if you flip your screen horizontally, a mobile menu suddenly appears. Very clever, but completely unobvious. The process of removing content block is very slow. This happens in four stages. Click on the area, click on the content block, click delete, confirm the deletion. This becomes simply unbearable when you need to delete several blocks at a time. But both of these shortcomings are insignificant. For the most part, the editor is well thought out and easy to use. The editor of styles, templates and customization of the mobile version. There are 32 templates on Squarespace. Each of them has a unique structure. For example, on the shift template, the logo is located in the upper left. The navigation menu is in the upper right. You can also place a large splash image on the home page. The style editor is great, it allows you to change almost every style component of your template. For example, you can fit a specific size for the page header, set the color scheme for the page, change logo height, font shape, set up navigation menu and much more. Like everything on Squarespace, the style editor is well thought out. All elements in the sidebar are customizable, you can click on any element on the side to change it. You can also drag the boundaries of the site to indicate the space. Everything works very well. And especially for you interface designers, you can choose between EM, RAM or PX. Squarespace supports both Typekit and Google Fonts, allowing you to play around with fonts. And now we will tell you how to use this constructor if you have an online store, a blog, a non-profit website or a podcast. Commercial sites. Last year, Squarespace launched a feature for commercial sites called Commerce. You can use this function to sell real and digital goods as well as services. There are many settings for this on the site. You will be able to send payment receipts by email, add additional payments methods to the order form, manage goods in stock, etc. Blogs. Squarespace is the perfect blogging platform, without a doubt. It supports many different functions. You can post publications using markup text or reach text. You can connect the discuss service for comments or use the Squarespace moderation and commenting system. You can publish pages or posts by sending them to Squarespace email. Plus, the blog editor is very convenient and beautiful. Reticulated images. A great example of the art of craftsmanship in Squarespace and the way they process images. Each image loaded into the constructor is saved in several formats. The image format used depends on which device, computer, tablet, phone the user is sitting on. It is impossible to imagine another site builder that supports retina images, but any owner of a fashionable smartphone will confirm that all optimized photos look just great on their retina display. A few words about non-profit sites and podcasts. Squarespace includes a good subsidy system. You can create your own form of payment as well as your own receipt of subsidies. And you do not need to use the form of a sales receipt for this. Squarespace also supports podcasting and helps integrate your shows into iTunes. Squarespace's speciality, 
is that they were able to fit so many settings and components into one complete program. There is nothing superfluous. Everything is easy to find and configure as you need. Squarespace is a highly qualified team that can be proud of its results. And since they are adept at creating sites, you can be sure that working with them will last a long time. And most importantly, you will be satisfied with the quality. Hello people, today we will speak about website builders. The service we decided to review is a beginner-oriented site builder. It is adapted for creating ordinary and business websites. Blogs, business cards, landing pages and shops are his specialty. It doesn't matter how well you imagine the process of working on the site, you will still be able to achieve results with this system. Is there something special in this service? Should you choose it? The review will provide answers. It's a website builder for creating business and card websites, compact shops and blogs. It is suitable for novice users who have no previous experience in creating websites. Photographers, musicians, lawyers, cafe owners, travel agencies, models, artists and many others will be able to launch their first website with little or no hassle. The visual editor is specific here, which does not require dragging and dropping widgets. It is convenient for some, but not for others. Service is of no interest to webmasters and other experienced users. This is a handy constructor with a nice interface, good functionality and does not allow coding within its limits. The pros will be cramped here and there are more suitable and cost-effective services of the same class for creating client business sites. The system is suitable for assembling technically simple, responsive, good-looking websites with a small number of pages. Functionality The name of the platform speaks for itself. One, two, three, and the site is ready. In fact, this is what happens. Yes, you are right, this service is called Site123. The control panel is very simple here. The visual editor loads faster than most builders. This is immediately notable and positively affects the experience of using the system. It is specific, simplified. You will see changes on the page in real time, but all editing options are concentrated in the sidebar. That is, you cannot even change the inscription by clicking on it. All actions, even the smallest, are performed from the menu. At first, it looks a little uncomfortable, but you quickly get used to it and it starts to seem like it's even better. It's very difficult to screw up here. There is a twist in Site123 that we have not seen before in similar platforms. You can choose the type of site. One page, in which all modules or blocks will be located one below the other, the sequence can be changed to your liking. As well as multi-page, each block, about us, contacts, main, etc., will be displayed on a separate page, forming a business card familiar to all of us. You can remove the menu altogether and make a sleek one-page site. Anchor links to blocks when using the menu in the one-page site model you get automatically. You do not need to attach anything specifically.